Praise God. I'm Andy Lumet, evangelist. Today I am studying about the Holy Spirit. I'm reading scriptures, Bible verses about the Holy Spirit. Jesus says they are wrong about judgment because the ruler of this world has been judged. The Holy Spirit has judged the ruler of this world. Who is the ruler of this world? Satan. Satan and his and his king, his kingdom that he has set up in this world, powers and principalities, spiritual wickedness in high places, rulers of darkness of this world. They are the rulers of this world, and Satan has been judged. Yeah. Ah. Holy Spirit come. He's, when the Holy Spirit come, who reveals the truth about God, he will lead you into all the truth. He will not speak on his own authority, but he will speak of what he hears and will tell you of things to come. So the Holy Spirit is called the Spirit of Truth. In this world today, this is London, England. Most of what you see, what what you see on television, and most of what you hear on radio and hear on the news is false. The, everything they, 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 this world media tell you is false. Jesus says, when the Holy Spirit comes, He will guide you into all truth. Before you were saved, and now that you are saved, what's the difference? I've got peace. You got peace. Peace in my heart, peace in my life. Yes. You know, we all go through. Who is the truth? Jesus is the truth. He, Jesus Christ is the way, the life, and the truth. No one comes to God except through Jesus Christ alone. And when the Holy Spirit comes, the Holy Spirit will talk about Jesus. He will not glorify himself. Everything the Holy Spirit will minister to you about Jesus. He says, Jesus says here, um, St. John chapter 16, I'm making this program for all my fans on online, on internet, Facebook, YouTube, wherever you are, God bless you. St. John 16 says, when the Holy Spirit comes, He will guide you, He will reveal the truth about God, and He will lead you into all truth, He will not speak on His own. Uh, this Holy Spirit will not speak on his own. He will not speak on his own authority, but he will speak of what he hears, and he will tell you of things to come. The Holy Spirit is also a, the spirit of prophecy, and the Holy Spirit is the spirit of praise and worship. Worship is the only thing that uh, the believers do that goes up to God. You worship God. It's the most unselfish thing. Um, Thing any believer can do worship the Holy Spirit makes you to worship God and the Holy Spirit makes the believer to preach Christ to preach Christ so now he said Jesus said the Holy Spirit will not speak on his own authority but he will speak about Jesus hallelujah the Holy Spirit also <laughs> will speak will tell you of things to come God says in his word, in the Bible, he says, God will do nothing first on this earth except he first tell his prophets. His prophets. So the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, and the teachers, they have inside information about heaven. Before anything happened in London, a major uh, 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 event, God will first reveal this to the prophets. To me and to other pastors, to, to uh, have a definite point where you say, I, I gotta give my life to Jesus. What made you to come to that conclusion? Well, I grew up as a Christian, so it wasn't too hard making that decision, but you know, as an independent mind, yes, 
it was it was a search for that something greater. Uh, okay. My, my Lord, my Savior. I just wanted to really know. Yeah. And yourself. And myself, you know, what is greater than man? Yes. And I decided to spend time in the Bible. I'm still growing. Still spending time in the Bible. The evangelists, the pastors, and the teachers. They have inside information about heaven. Before anything happened in London, a major uh, 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 event, God will first reveal this to the prophets, to me, and to other pastors who are praying and in tune with the Holy Spirit. Amen. He says, the Holy Spirit, He will give me glory because He will take what I say and tell it to you. The first thing the Holy Spirit will do, He'll give all glory to God. It's worship. Worship. Jesus said the Holy Spirit will give me glory. Will give me glory. That means when the Holy Spirit comes, He will not take all the credit for Himself. Any any good thing happen, the Holy the Holy Spirit will say, Glory to God. It is Jesus who gave me this. For instance, a few years ago, uh, Jesus healed me of tuberculosis, TB. The doctors prescribe my chest as TB. They say I have holes in my chest. But by the power of Jesus Christ, He healed me without any medication. Instant healing. Amen. So I give God the glory. The Bible says the Holy Spirit will give God the glory. He will give me glory because He will take what I say and tell it to you. All that my Father has is mine. That is why I said that the Spirit, the Holy Spirit will take what I give him and tell it to you. Jesus has just given a very powerful revelation here. The Bible tells us that heaven is paved with the streets of gold. Uh, the gates of heaven are made out of pearl. And um, there is so much glory in heaven like the bright sunlight. Now, look at all these riches and wealth and prosperity. Jesus is saying, all that the Father has is mine, and I give it to you. So, what? I'm still understanding who I am in, in Christ and um, how he speaks to me. And the word of the, the Bible, basically, is, is, is a gateway. So, if you're a Christian, you know, the Bible is the, is, is the book of your faith. Yes. Jesus is saying by his death on the cross and his resurrection, uh, he bought for God people who were who were poor, who were marginalized, and he blessed their lives. The Bible says we have the blessings of Abraham through Christ. We have the blessing of Abraham through Christ. I'm Andrew Lumet here uh, preaching this gospel, making my little tip right here. For all of you here, all my friends in North London, South London, in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, uh, in Antarctica, in Australia, wherever you're watching this, God bless you. Jesus says, that, I'll leave you with this. Jesus says, when the Holy Spirit comes, all that my Father has is mine. That is why I said that the Holy Spirit will take what I give him and tell it to you. So God bless you. How do you get the Holy Spirit? The Bible says in Acts, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. When you repent and you are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, the next thing is you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. All of what we're preaching here is meaningless except you first receive Jesus. How do you receive Jesus Christ as Lord? The Bible says, repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come to you. If you turn away from your sins, if you stop lying, if you stop, you do not kill, do not lie, do not steal, do not commit adultery, do not commit fornication, do not commit homosexual, do not commit pedophilia, do not, do not steal, do not bear false witness against your neighbor, honor your father and your mother, go to church on Sunday. These are the Ten Commandments. What's the cause of racism in your opinion? Oh, the cause? Yeah, in your opinion, what's That's the... very difficult. I don't know. I wish I could know, but um, it's a very difficult...
question. Do you have any friends who are racist by any chance? I definitely, yeah, for sure. So I'm, what will you tell them about racism? What will you tell them? Uh, what would I tell them? Well, I definitely condemn it because I'm, just, I'm from another origin as well. So uh, okay. I think it's short-sighted. Okay. Um, and, and it's just very narrow-minded. It's I think it's it, maybe the causes people don't want to look further than uh, than back than their backyard. They don't. If you have broken any of those laws, God says you are you are you are, you are bound for hell. How you receive the Holy Spirit? You repent of your sins and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, and believe in your heart that. Jesus Christ died on the cross and God raised him from the dead. If you believe this, you shall be saved from your sin right where you are today. When you get saved, you go to church and that's when the Holy Spirit comes on you. When you hear the word of God. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Today I'll be teaching you the word of God. My name is Andre Lumet, the black evangelist of Kensington and Chelsea. I'm here today on in the heart of Chelsea here, just proclaiming this word of God. I say, may God bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine on you and give you peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lord. Oh God the Almighty. Let us rejoice and be glad, giving the glory to God, for the marriage of the Lord has come. The Lord, the bride is getting ready. Hallelujah to the Lord our God, the Almighty reign. Hallelujah to the Lord our God, the Almighty reign. Today I'm here at the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea, um, Oakfield Street, London SW10. I'm an evangelist. Um, just presenting my program today. I say God bless you to all my viewers in Africa, in Europe, in um, Asia. God bless you in <laughs> Australia, in Antarctica, in Brazil, in Argentina. God bless you. Peace to you. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lord. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, God bless you. You have any greetings to say to your to your friends? Or yeah. Whatever? So, if you know me, hello. If you don't, hi. All right. Thank you. Peace to you. Yeah. <laughs> God bless you. I'm Andel the Black Evangelist. I'm making history here today. An Imperial Wharf. This is Jesus. I'm Andel Lumet. I'm making history at Imperial Wharf today. A brother who from Sorry? What is the cause of racism? Ignorance. 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 What will you tell your friends who are racist? So they can... uh, you can't say that. As we grow up, I know people like that. You just say, sorry, you can't say that. Uh, you don't have any friends who are racist? Um, usually older relatives who don't know any better. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> when Jesus told Zacchaeus, calm down, today I must have dinner at your house. Zacchaeus came down and while they were having dinner, he told Jesus, Lord, if he had cheated anyone, he would give half of his belongings to the poor. Zacchaeus went in his house, he brought out all the, he was a tax collector. And all the people hated him because he was a tax collector for the Roman government. The Roman government was in Jerusalem tasking the people and making slaves out of them. And Zacchaeus was a Jew who worked for the tax collector. So when he became born again, uh, he told Jesus that if he had cheated anyone, he would give Jesus, uh, he would give them back half of his belongings, half of his belongings. So Zacchaeus gave back to the poor all the money that he stole from them uh, while he worked as a tax collector. Jesus said to the people, today salvation has come to this house. For this man also is a son of Abraham, and shouldn't he be? Full of 
Riverside. This is the Imperial Walk in Chelsea. God bless you and keep you to all my fans in North London, South London, East London, and West London, on internet, South Africa, North Africa, West Africa, Central Africa. God bless you to all the pastors, to all the churches. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine on you and give you peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello, ladies.